Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week where we bring you a few minutes of the most exciting news about AWS over the past week. This week we'll be covering AWS Trainium EC2 instances entering general availability. New local zones have been brought online in Taipei and Delhi. And AWS's Tape Gateway has had a couple of really useful enhancements in the past few days. I'm Stephen Sennett bringing you another episode of AWS This Week. AWS Trainium powered EC2 instances have now entered general availability with the full release of the TRN instance family originally previewed at reInvent 2021. The AWS Trainium processor is a new special purpose chip specifically designed for dealing with deep learning algorithms. Aside from taking the wooden spoon prize in the naming competition, Trainium is one of those massively interesting feats of engineering where AWS have created a microprocessor so highly attuned to the unique needs of deep learning being able to much more efficiently store common data types and handle accelerated stochastic rounding. With AWS Neuron, you can readily integrate solutions running on either PyTorch or TensorFlow, making it much easier to leverage this new technology. When building highly complex language models like GPT-3, the claim by AWS of a 50% lower cost to train makes potentially an enormous amount of difference, although specifically to those customers who need it. If you're interested in AWS Trainium or the new TRN1 instance family, check out the links in the description below. AWS has announced the launch of two new local zones in the cities of Taipei and Delhi. Local zones are a relatively newer concept to AWS's global infrastructure, bringing single-digit latency to your applications in specific locations. This not only enables higher performance for your solutions, but can also resolve other issues like data residency requirements. The tremendous power of the cloud is less impressive if you're waiting several seconds while your request travels the globe. As an example, if your company runs service for multiplayer gaming, you could deploy an EC2 instance into a local zone near your users, this cuts the latency down to potentially less than 10 milliseconds, leading to a far superior performance. With 18 local zones now available around the world and 33 more planned, the cloud has never been closer to your users. AWS Storage Gateway's Tape Gateway has had two enhancements over the past week, now supporting up to 15 tebibyte tapes and performance boost of up to two times previous throughput rates. Tape Gateway's capability to integrate seamlessly, 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 Tape Gateway's capability to integrate seamlessly into traditional backup solutions that otherwise rely on physical tapes is a really powerful solution for many organizations, and these enhancements make it even easier. With the support for large virtual tapes, this means both less virtual tapes to manage and support for directly migrating any LTO tapes up to generation seven with their 15 terabyte compressed storage capacity. AWS have also announced that the performance of Tape Gateway has been increased by up to twice the original throughput. They don't offer much of an explanation in the announcement as to how this works, but I suspect it's related to the ability for the AWS Storage Gateway to provide compression services prior to transferring up to AWS. And ultimately, this means a faster recovery time objective, getting your business back online sooner in case of recovery. These upgrades are available now with the software upgrade for AWS Storage Gateway being released on October 13th. Now, before signing off this week, I want to talk to you about our Cloud Happy promo. It's a free program available up until the end of the year, offering free access to some of our most popular cloud-related certification courses. For AWS, our Certified Cloud Practitioner course is completely free to use, along with the Azure Fundamentals and Cloud Digital Leader courses, plus the cloud-aligned HashiCorp Terraform Associate and Certified Kubernetes Administrator courses. Even if you find the Certified Cloud Practitioner is a bit too fundamental for you, often we'll all be working with other people who aren't the most familiar with cloud technology or AWS. The Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification is a really great way to get those foundational skills in AWS, helping facilitate those vital conversations. And being free, there's not much to lose anyway. If you're interested in any of those courses, check out the link in the description at the bottom of this information. No, don't do that. If you're interested in any of these courses, check out the link in the description below for more information. That's it for the news this week. We hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, go forth and learn all the things. And as always, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.